so I've been watching a lot of regular shit recently, right? And after a while, I was able to realize that this nigga did not have an infinite knowledge. So the main premise of Skiss's character is that he's immortal and the smartest character among the entire main cast. And he apparently knows everything. Knows everything is in quotation marks because there are so many instances in the show where this monkey was clueless. Like in the first episode, where Mordecai and Rippy sent him to the moon. You think if this buffoon actually had the intelligence and foresight to know what was gonna happen, that he'd actually just let it happen? I know everything, remember? Ryan! So stick around and listen to me yap about how useless Skips is. In Season 1, Episode 4, Rigby learns how to do the Death Punch, which is basically just an amplified shotgun blast or a sonic boom in your fist. And within this episode, Skips becomes one of his victims. Nah, that's crazy. How do you get caught lacking by Rigby of all people when his little ass got knocked over by Pops? Walking? No thanks, I'm too good for that. Number 2. In literally the next episode, Skips gets caught lacking again by both Mordecai and Rippy this time. In case you guys didn't know, there's a ritual Skips needs to do every single year on his birthday in order to keep his immortality. He goes into the woods at night secluded from everybody else in order to perform it. But these two goobers managed to ruin that too. You know what happens though, Mordecai and Rippy pull up Mordecai and Rippy and they end up almost killing Skips as usual, blah blah blah, who cares about him. But my point here is, if Skips was as smart as we think he is, he would have known they were coming, and he would have murdered them before they tried to murder him. Though it's not like this absolute monkey would have the foresight to stop two geniuses like Mordecai and Rigby, but anyways. Oh yeah, does anybody else think it's pretty stupid that Skips never even bothers to tell anybody about the ritual dance? Like, there weren't even any negative repercussions from Mordecai and Rigby finding out about it, so why wouldn't he go out of his, go out of his way to tell anybody? Not to mention the fact that Mordecai and Rigby are constantly almost killing each other, or everybody else in the entire world. You think if Skips actually had infinite knowledge, he'd just sit there and let that happen? In Season 3, Episode 15, Skips vs. Technology, Mordecai and Rigby are having computer problems. So the two of them suggest a calm, rational, intelligent, and reasonable solution. But the only thing this barbarian Skips wants to do is smash stuff. They honestly should have made Skips black because of how aggressive he is. No offense to the monkeys watching at home, but you get what I mean. Last example, in Season 3, Episode 38, Sugar Rush, Mordecai and Ruby are each tasked with bringing donuts for Benson to pass out during the morning meeting, which they're actually able to pull off easily. But they leave them unattended, which causes Pops to spawn in out of nowhere and eat them all. This ends with Pops getting a crazy sugar rush, which leads to Mordecai and Ruby going to Skips for help as usual. Though Skips wasn't of any use because his OD on sugar method didn't do anything but make everything worse. Which leads to Big Brain Rick becoming in clutch, doing what they should have done in the first place, and eating Benson's plain donut. Which actually ends up working. But get this, Skips was wrong about something Rigby was right about. So, if that doesn't prove Skips is an absolute primitive idiot, I don't know what does. Now that we're on the topic of Skips' bad qualities, let me roast this ugly ass nigga for a second. First off, look at how this motherfucker is built. Now that I think about it, I've never seen Skips train his lower body before, just his abs and biceps. See guys, this is why you never trust somebody that skips leg day. I could go on and on about why Skips sucks, but I can't go through every example I've written down without sounding like a broken record. So yeah, you guys get the point. Like and sub for more if you enjoyed this. Yada yada yada. Bye bye. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. Does anybody else think it's weird that half human, half animal characters in TV shows date like regular human beings? Like, at what point does it become bestiality?